screen replacement LCD assembly for MacBook Air A1466. The tools we're going to need are a T5 and a T8 screwdriver, a pentalobe screwdriver, and tweezers are optional. Go ahead and begin by removing the two pentalobe screws that are slightly longer than the rest of the screws. There are 10 screws in total. These two that are slightly longer in the center top and then the eight going around the contour that are sl slightly shorter. Go ahead and remove those eight next. With all 10 screws removed, go ahead and lift up and remove the cover panel to the side. Always begin by disconnecting the battery. Go ahead and find that little tugging lever and pull on it to disconnect the battery from the logic board. We'll need to disconnect the LVDS cable first, then the three T8 screws, then the uh, Bluetooth antenna, and then the three T8 screws on the opposite hinge. Go ahead and uh, disconnect the LVDS cable by pushing down on the bracket and pulling it out of its socket. Go ahead and pop out that uh, Bluetooth uh, Wi-Fi antenna cables out of their sockets. They should come out relatively easy go ahead and trace them out trace out that cable is tucked in under the logic board a little bit if you play around with it you'll be able to pull it out okay now go ahead and start removing the T8 screws I like to remove uh, the T8 screws two at a time from each side then the final one on each hinge there's still another cable we're going to have to get out, so go ahead and start working the screen away from the uh, lower case. And once you get it popped open, it's still attached, go ahead and carefully lay it down. We're going to need to disconnect uh, this bridge cable right here that connects the logic board to the power supply. It just pops right out just like that. Go ahead and put that cable to the side. Now go ahead and uh, disconnect the uh, power from the uh, DCN board to the logic board. Go ahead and disconnect that speaker right there. With the speaker disconnected. Remove the following screw at the end of the uh, heatsink. Go ahead and remove this screw right here, uh, this T5 screw uh, that connects the DCN board. Go ahead and lift up this little eyelash here and uh, disconnect uh, this little ribbon cable and push it out of the way. Now remove the uh, T5 screw on the left of the fan and the T5 screw on the bottom of the fan. Now go ahead and lift up that eyelash right there and disconnect that fan connection. Be careful when you're pulling it out. You don't want to rip that cable. The fan should come out relatively easy. With that out of the way, you can go ahead and start lifting up on that DCN board. And you can see now we can finally untuck that last cable, the uh, EyeSight camera cable. Uh, go ahead and trace it and pop it out and that should free the uh, LCD screen installation for MacBook Air A1466 go ahead and lay down the screen assembly and start tucking in some of the cables make sure that everything's aligned properly we're going to need to reconnect the eyesight camera cable first Make sure that the antennas are lined up as well. We'll need to stand the unit up and secure the uh, uh, T8 screws. One in each side first and then the rest of the hinge screws. Go ahead and lay it back down once the hinge screws are secured. Go ahead and trace out the Wi-Fi cable along the logic board go ahead and plug in that Wi-Fi card. Now go ahead and trace out that uh, cable for the EyeSight camera and go ahead and plug that in. 
can now work in the uh, LVDS cable connection. Make sure not to forget to lock it in with a lever. Let's start working in the DC inboard. Go ahead and uh, hook that EyeSight camera cable around it and that little notch and place it in. Make sure all the cables are out of the way you're not mashing anything in. Go ahead and secure that one uh, T5 screw. That T5 screw go ahead and uh, click in uh, that little ribbon cable right there and make sure to tuck it all the way in and push that eyelash down. Now go ahead and reconnect the speaker by uh, applying a little bit of pressure and popping that in. Take the fan and uh, connect it first as you're putting it in. Go ahead and push that into that connection, that cable, and then flip that little lash so that you got a good lock. Now you can carefully position the fan into its socket. Go ahead and secure the fan first with the two T5 screws, the one on the left first. then the T5 screw on the bottom now go ahead and secure that third T5 screw that connects the fan with the heatsink and the DC inboard go ahead plug in the DC inboard into the logic board let's go ahead and recover that with the uh, uh, DC inboard logic board cable Make sure that's nice and tight and you got a firm connection. Go ahead and reconnect the battery. Place the cover back on top. Go ahead and secure the two uh, slightly longer pentalobe screws first and then the remaining eight going around the contour of the MacBook Air.